What's up guys and welcome back to my channel again this week. My name is Priscilla. I am a Nigerian women's wear designer based in London. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the pattern for a cow neckline. This is something that you can either have at the front or at the back of a top, a dress, a jumpsuit, a play suit maybe. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the design on the front. You can do the same thing on the back of a top or if you dress or whatever garment that you really want to experiment with this pattern with i'd love to hear your ideas thoughts and suggestions down below so make sure to leave a comment give this video a thumbs up if you like more pattern tutorials in the future and without further ado let's jump straight into this video I have my usual tools and materials today that I'm going to be using for this cow neck design. First of all, I'm going to be needing some soft silky material so that the draping falls nicely along the neckline of the top. I also have my tape measure, my marker pen, my paper and fabric scissors, my tiny scissors, some cello tape, as well as my pattern master and my set square. I'm going to be linking all of the tools and patterns mentioned and used in this video down below, such as my bodice, which I've done in the previous tutorial i will also be needing some pattern paper because we need to create some fresh pattern in order to make this design so the first thing you need to do is to duplicate your blocks like i always do in any video where i'm going to be starting from my basic bodies i like to duplicate fresh pattern and the difference with this duplicate is i dropped the front neckline by three centimeters and extended the front armhole by three centimeters so it's the same sort of measurement from under the arm to the hip and it's just like a boxy silhouette i did a similar thing for the back because i just wanted to have a back to connect to the front to check my design at the end i added a one centimeter seam allowance all the way around but i'm going to be cutting my front and back patterns on a fold so i'm going to grab my front pattern and plan the front neckline so i just taped it down so it doesn't move and the first thing you need to do is you need to mark four centimeters along your front shoulder and mark eight centimeters so they are evenly spaced by four centimeters then i'm going to be marking two cm above my front notch or nine cm away from my sort of side edge and then i'm going to go to my front and mark seven centimeters 14 centimeters and 21 centimeters these points are going to be connecting to the shoulder and armhole points that we just marked so we're going to connect the first one to the shoulder point closest to the neck so on and so forth until we get to the last one on the arm curve and we're going to have three curves which we're going to be cutting open and spreading to create more volume around the neckline of this sort of basic blouse that we are making so i'm just going in with my pattern master my marker pen i'm drawing in my curved lines connecting my points together so i know exactly what i'm cutting so i just used this tiny indication to show you guys the lines that we're going to be cutting and we will start from the center front edge and cut all the way to the shoulder point try and cut as close to the edge as possible because it makes spreading it easier when there is not a lot left towards the edge of the pattern so i'm just going in and cutting the last line here cutting as close as edge to the possible but not cutting all the way to the end so now that i have all of my panels in place a total of three i'm going to be spreading them onto fresh pattern paper so I've cut some fresh pattern paper here wide enough to take the spread of my design and I've taped down the first panel. So I'm just taping down the edge of this large bottom piece here. So it stays put while I'm spreading the rest of the smaller panels on top. So I'm just grabbing some more tape and I'm going in to spread the panels by seven centimeters. Just know that the more you spread the panels, the more drape this pattern would create. So if you spread it 10, 12, 15, and so on and so forth, the draping along the neckline is going to be more because you're adding more volume in 
into the neckline of this pattern here so i'm just taping down my first panel and then going ahead to repeat the same thing across the others spreading by seven centimeters and just taping the pattern down so it doesn't move before going ahead to move on to the next step so the next thing you need to do is we need to connect the shoulder points to the original center front line and when you do that you find that you would actually cut your way or rule away some of the panels along that center front edge as you can see here so this doesn't really matter because there is still enough room added into the pattern through the panels that we spread from the bottom all the way to the top so the next thing you need to do after this is you need to add a little bit on top to accommodate a folded facing that is already attached to this pattern so if you fold the pattern inwards like this so you can see the edge of that curved end underneath you can trace off that curved line because the thing about facings is when they are usually folded back into the garment you want the edges to match so it finish off nice along the seams so my facing here is four centimeters wide you can decide to make yours wider or smaller depending on what you like and I'm just going in here to connect my points and finish off that part of the pattern With that done, it's time to go ahead and cut out the excess around the pattern so you have this piece. So this is going to be your new front pattern, which when you cut your fabric, you make sure you double the fabric and cut that center front edge along a fold. So when you open it up, you have one piece that is that entire front and you do the same for the back except you want a zip on the center back or you want buttons and you cut two pieces. You just cut the back and the front both unfold so you have one piece for the front and one piece for the back so these are the patterns all done and i'm going to go ahead and test them out especially the front i just wanted to be sure that i was happy with the outcome of the spread i had done so this is what the front piece should look like when you've cut it out on fabric remember to cut your notches especially for that edge where your facing is because you want to know exactly how much you need to fold in along the neckline this is my back, just a simple boxy silhouette, nothing special, just to check that my front is correct. So to finish your back, you can either use bias tape to finish the back neckline or you can cut a separate facing that has the same width as the front. Whichever works for you, you can do. But for now, I'm just using a white bias tape and I'm sewing it first like so, right, right edges together sewing on a 0.5 centimeter seam allowance and then after doing that i'm going to come back in and fold the tape on the inside of the fabric and stitch together on a one centimeter seam allowance so we have a nice finished neckline on the back of your blouse or of your dress this is completely optional you can either do this or do the facing or just fold the back neckline edge if you want so now that that is done it's time to join the front to the back i'm just going in here to pin my shoulder points together and thankfully because i notched where my shoulder point ends i know how much i need to pin and how much i need to fold along the neckline so i'm just going in here to sew my shoulder and side seams on my domestic machine on a one centimeter seam allowance using a normal straight stitch just to join everything together So I've quickly put on the top just to show you guys the fit and as you can see it's quite high and if you want to make it deeper to drop you know lower down your your neckline down your decolletage or your cleavage then you want to extend that front of the pattern like a V and not straight like I did but I'm actually not mad at the outcome it came out really classy to look really nice inside of a blazer imagine a blazer just being buttoned up here and like this neckline like this it would look really refined really clean with high waisted pencil skirt or trousers this would be a really 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 nice top as I mentioned earlier on, the front neckline is quite high, so it was a bit of a hassle wearing this top. Like, it's really tight, and if you have a lot of hair or if you have extensions, it might be hard for you to successfully wear this thing. So, you have two options. You can either correct the pattern and make the neckline wider in the front so it drapes down even more and it's easier to wear, 
or you cut the back pieces on the fold and fix a zip on the center back i think both necklines are quite lovely it just depends on what you actually want the high one is just as chic as the low one which is what this corrected pattern will do so by the time you add more to the front like this you extend that front neck and join it back to the bottom of the center front you would add even more fabric to create that lovely drape that a cow neckline has so this is what we're usually this is what we're used to seeing on like car necklines on high street or like in shops so if you want to create this design then you can go ahead and correct the initial pattern i did and then you have this sort of more elegant and more flowy drape along the front of the neckline of your blouse or of your dress so these are the two necklines side by side the high one on the right hand side and the low one on the left hand side whichever you prefer you create i think they are both equally really nice so like i said for to make the lower drape one you extend the front neckline by about 17 centimeters and connect it back to the hem to make this drapey designs but i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video all the same if you did please give it a thumbs up comment all of your thoughts suggestions and ideas down down below and i will see you guys in my next one bye